Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Poppy Show. So today, my husband is gonna be talking about why men cheat. No, God! No, God, please, no, no! But before we go any further, guys, I want you guys to leave a comment. My husband did my head wrap and I want you guys to rate him 1 to 10, 10 being the best. So go ahead and start rating. <laughs> it was out there in August, so just start right at the I honestly, I don't like it. Let me know what you rate my head wrap. So, yeah, tonight I'm gonna expose. You know, we are quarantined, COVID 19 outside, we can't go out, so spending a lot of time with a mistress and I felt like, you know, I'm gonna give her some insights on why men cheat, right? And the big disclaimer is, not all men cheat, don't get me wrong, right? Not all men cheat, but the ones that do cheat, there are some similar reasons across all men why they cheat. So, you ready to hear this, honey? I can't wait. All right, number one, men cheat because they think they can get away with it. True. No man would think we're smart and everything, and we are smart, but for some reason, bossy, the woman them have a little sixth sense, you know, a pick up on the thing, so. All the time, and trust me, that intuition is never wrong either. I don't know about never, but it's right most of the time. <laughs> Mine is never wrong. <laughs> I can pick up on things even yeah. before it happens. Yeah. Yeah, so men cheat because they think they can get away with it. You know when a woman cheat if she get pregnant, you know, that's a physical evidence of that like the world are gonna know, you know what I mean? Especially if it's from a different race, you know, husband black, she got cheat with someone of another race, get pregnant, obviously. Baby gonna look different, you know. Start blaming the milkman. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know about the milkman. Yeah. So there is a physical evidence, you know, to a woman cheating and perhaps getting pregnant. With men, them just cheat and take a shower, then go home and feel like everything hunky dory. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, usually when that happens, we know. Like, some men, when they start cheating on their woman or whatever, right? And they'll come home and try to create some argument of the sort just so they can have an excuse to go out, you know, to leave the house. Thank God we don't have that problem because even if we have disagreement in the house, um, we know that leaving is not the option. So we always try to work out our differences. But some men do try to start some chaos in the house when they're cheating just so they can leave the house. But also to piggyback off, you know, they think they can get away with it. Women, they're more emotional than men, right? Most women are anyways. So women tends to, if they're gonna sleep with someone, they usually have some element of feelings involved. Men, they can just sleep with anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what men are. They Dogs. Yeah, they can, you know, men, they just do as they please because they feel like doing it. Not necessarily because they are involved or attached and you know what I mean, all that kind of stuff. So that's also another reason why men think they can get away with it because they could just not fall in love with the woman and just move on tomorrow or so they think. Some men really get caught, but 90% of men, you know, there is not too much emotion involved so they think they can get away with it. And this is my personal opinion, not factual. Women, I think, they're more committed to not breaking up their families. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're like, they're more caring for the kids, you know. More Good attached. men are out there, myself included. So yeah, we're not gonna break up our families. But women think about their families first. Men think, you know, they can get away with it. So yeah, that's one of the biggest reasons why men cheat they think they can get away with it yeah and some do get away with it and also i think that um some of the women they know what's going on but based on their situation that they're in they, they just work with it they just kind of work with it they're like okay whatever and some women do retaliate like they'll turn the they're switch cheating. yeah they'll start cheating as well so yeah it just, you know, depends on the person, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So number one, 
men cheat because they think they can get away with it. The second reason why men cheat is because they can. Yeah, simple, because they can. So for example, right, men are like, you know, society has this thing, men are supposed to take care of the household and, you know, it's changing now, you know, from generation to generation, women are more, are going out there and they're doing their thing. It's more like in the workforce, it's a 50-50 environment, you know, a man can do this, a woman can do it also. But men are predominantly thinking that, you know, if they are the boss somewhere, they could flash themselves around with that kind of a power and thinking that that would be appealing to some women. And some women really get caught into that. Some women really go for a man with power, whether they are married or not. Some women really just go for a guy that has power, they're with the boss, they're with the this, they're with the that. And men just go along with it because they can. And men are not as committed to relationships as women. And it does not go for all men because I'm very committed to relationship, but in terms of men as the species men. Women, I think women like to be involved, like to be committed, like to have that security. Men, I think men like to just know that they can hop from here to there and they're the man and that kind of stuff. Women like, like the fact that they're with their guy, there's respect, she feels safe, she has her kids, her family looks nice. Women value that kind of a setting. Whereas a man, they could be in that same setting, but still wonders. You know, so women value, I think, overall women value commitment more. Let us know what you think. I think it's easier for a man to walk out than a woman, but um, I definitely think that when it comes on to commitment and, you know, that longevity, and as I said, not all men, yeah, you have the instances where a man would be more committed to his relationship than his wife or his girlfriend, you know, it doesn't go, but predominantly, the women as a species are more, you know, inclined to want the relationship to work, is more committed, you know, and things like that. So, you know, as I said, our opinions, let us know what you think, you know, and if you feel the same way or not, let's let us know. So, um, so do you think that your commitment to God has a lot to do with your commitment to me? Yeah, I mean, your commitment, my commitment to God has a lot to do with commitment overall, period, to the kids, to my wife, to my job, because you have to understand is your commitment to God make you, make you act right, right? So in all aspects of life, you're gonna act right. So in your relationship, just by being committed to God, you wanna treat your wife right, you wanna treat your kids right, you do the right thing at your job, you know, not only when your boss is looking, but you know you have a duty not only to your boss, but to God, you know, so your commitment to God. Yeah, if you have a commitment to God, then obviously you will be more committed to doing the right thing all around, you know, let us know what you think again how you feel about that aspect of it, okay? Now why is it so hard for guys to commit though? Yes, it's hard for guys to commit. Yeah, it's very hard for a lot of guys to commit. I think if a guy doesn't commit, he doesn't want to be with you. That's what I think. I mean, it could be at stages though, because if it's too early in a man's life, obviously that could play a factor. You know, um, if, you know, a lot of things have to line up for a guy to want to commit. You know, they have to see the benefits in it. Women, they would commit to the first person that say they love them. Men, there's a lot of things that have to line up like, and even so, they still would probably cheat. But I don't think, I think men would commit if the situation is right. Yeah, I think if it's the right situation, men would commit, right? The problem is, I don't think it's easy for them to identify the right situation. <laughs> I know, because sometimes, I mean, the women, they've given them everything possible. She looks nice, she's beautiful, she has a nice shape. I mean, she has a nice job and still... No commitment? They still go out there and cheat. Because they can. I guess. Ooh. Well, let us know what y'all think. Lastly, I think this one is the most, you know, primary reason why a man go out there and cheat 
you know, especially when they're in a relationship that should be quote unquote committed and a man go out there and cheat and um, the relationship has been going on for a while, things like that and you see the guy get up and leave. I think what happens at this stage is boredom. Mm. Yep, boredom. Yeah, because people get comfortable. Yeah, get complacent. Yeah, they get complacent and um, they just start taking everything for granted. Like, yeah, you know, we used to dress up and now you just feel like, oh, we've been married for 20 years. I ain't got to, you know, put myself together no more. And, you know, mm -hmm. and so he goes out there and he sees a nice chick and she looks well, fresh and blooming and stuff. So um, I guess that's a big trigger. <laughs> Yeah, that's true though. I mean, that happens, you know, complacency, not only on the woman's part, but on the guy's part too, because you know, when you're in a relationship with a couple of kids, maybe your wife gained a little weight, you know, that's, that's natural. I mean, men gain weight too. It's on the men sometimes to make your wife still feel beautiful, you know, compliment her, you know, say nice things, you know, let her feel like she is still that woman you fell in love with, you know, so, you know, I understand she might be complacent, you know, she lets herself go, I've been married for 20 years, I ain't trying to impress nobody anymore, kind of, but the men could do their parts as well, I'm talking for, for the men out there, you know, compliment your wife, man, as much as you like them physically, there is an element of personality that you really love to, right, them have the vibes, you know, them funny, them laugh at your jokes, them watch some football with you, you know what I mean, so, that person is still there. They might look physically different because, you know, wear and tear. <laughs> 20 years, a couple of kids and stuff. But I mean, you have to work together and make that person feel like, say, yeah, you know, I'm still the person that you wanted. That's one of the sub categories under boredom. You know, the relationship doesn't seem exciting anymore. You know what I mean? It's getting bored now and husband wants to you know experience this wife is like um you know the kids are in the room the kids are still up you know a lot of excuses and that can be a factor also the ladies you know everything is with social media these days and you know everybody shows their social media side of them nobody really see their true selves you know a lot of people they're taking you know, injections and doing surgeries and your little wife just at home, you know, she's not doing none of that stuff and she feel like she can't compete now, you know, social media is in everybody's face. So husband looking online, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all these beautiful girls, you know, the made up beautiful girls. I think that's the way the world really is right now, you know what I mean? So, <coughs> it's a lot of issues in the house, you know, wife is not looking attractive anymore because he's seeing a difference outside, you know what I mean? And those kind of things really drive a wedge in the relationship and it really causes, you know, wife to turn east, husband turning west. Relationship get boring, you know what I mean? Nobody not spending time with each other anymore. You know, we all see it how it is. Wife on phone, husband on phone, kids on phone, you know, that, so that elements of element of bonding is not there anymore. So it's bad enough when you don't even feel like you're attractive to your, attractive to your husband, or you, you, you're, you don't feel attractive to, to to your attracted to your wife, you know. With all the social media and the technology that's available out in the world today, it's really hard to really pull it back in, you know. So primary reason for you know devoted couples for long long term marriages boredom. You have to work on the marriage, you have to put some spice in other thing, you know what I mean? None of them three someone and think that we're talking about, you know what I mean? We're talking about, you know, find ways of making it the work. Find ways to make it spicy again. Because the grass is not always greener. It looks greener, yeah. but it's not always greener. If you water your own grass, it will become just as green. So Yeah, definitely. Even if it's greener after 20 years, if you treat it the same way you treat your marriage, it's gonna look the same as how your marriage is right now. So the fact of the matter is you have to just put the work in on your own grass. You know what I mean? Because you can't jump from grass to grass to grass just because if you take greener. Work on your stuff. Water your own grass. It can stay green. 
but you just have to put some work in. So guys, those are my top three things of why I think, you know, the top three primary reasons why I think men cheat. Leave some comments for us, let us know what you think. Um, talk to your husbands, talk to your wives, you know, share your viewpoints. Believe me, it will make you stronger. You know what I mean? It will make you stronger. Leave some comments for us, as I said. You know, tell us what you think. Tell us if you like this video. Tell us if you want us to do more about stuff like this. You know what I mean? We're trying to build family, value-oriented um, content. You know, parenting videos, vlogs about family and bonding. You know, I try my best to be a good father and husband. And he is. Thank you. And I'm trying to put out videos, you know, empowering men. You know, to be better dads, better brothers, better fathers, um, why I'm um, husbands, sorry, you know, and overall a better man of God because that's absolutely important. Once you have got another thing, I'll say 50% of the work now will be that hard. We enjoyed having you here. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell. We have a lot of stuff working on, trust me, it's gonna be very, very awesome. Just check out Poppy Show, you know. Look out for the notifications. You're not going to miss nothing we will put out. You know, we love y'all. Just remember, God is still in control. Be smart about your health. Stay in when you can. You know, you know, we have to go out at some point in time. But do it when you absolutely must. Protect the kids. Hand washing. Yeah. Hand washing. Wash your hands. Things like that. And keep on praying, guys. Keep on praying.